Experience the perfect interplay of the Simatic S7-1200 with a new task-oriented engineering framework, modular controllers, and the integrated WinCC BASIC for the configuration of Simatic panels. This podcast shows you how to configure a device. It is easy to configure the hardware for your project. You can start from the portal view and simply click Configure a device to get started. There are already two controllers and two control panels provided in this project. The existing configuration can be easily expanded by clicking Add New Device. Navigate to the desired CPU and select it. You can rename the controller according to its application. By clicking Add, the device view of this controller will open by default. The opened hardware catalog with Enabled Filter only shows modules that are compatible with the respective controller. A signal board, for example, can simply be dragged from the catalog to the CPU. The workspace additionally offers space for non-connected modules. Modules can be directly dragged to the module file system and can be configured there. This enables fast access for further reusability. The module file system is stored together with the modules in the project. A digital input-output module and an analog input module is inserted in the module file system. The advantage of the module file system is that you only have to store and configure the right module once. In this case, the first two channels for the analog module are set to current measurement and the next two channels to voltage measurement. Subsequently, you copy the module several times into the rack or you store it in the file system for device variants you may need later. Now you can drag the modules to the rack. At the same time, the workspace will show you graphically the available slots and the maximum number of modules that can be configured on this controller. By pressing the control key, the module is copied rather than dragged. The left side of the 1200 controller offers space for the compatible communication modules. Here, the maximum configuration is also displayed graphically. From the device view, you can easily view and modify the properties of the configured controller and its modules. For example, you can enable use of the system memory byte or set up the transmit and receive message configuration for a communication module. The network view shows you all the devices and their interconnection in the current project. New devices can easily be added by drag and drop. You can graphically link the two devices. This automatically creates a network connection. The name of your device or connection can be changed at any time. Complete devices and individual modules can be copied to a global library. In this way, they are easily accessible to other projects. A multitude of functions support you efficiently in the device view and network view when you are configuring the project. This is how you save valuable engineering time. Additional information is provided on our website.